Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Tick Podcast. And, uh, you know, this is kind of like, um, I, I, I don't know how to categorize this uh, episode, but, you know, I, I had something happen and I was thinking about it. And I'm like, you know what, this could be an interesting topic. Um, kind of like, you know, has a theme. And that theme is finding your niche or finding your voice sticking with your your thing and uh so i got a little bit of an anecdote a little bit of a story um i said that i never wanted to do tiktok and you know i was having a road trip and uh you know like i thought that you know tiktok would be a stupid platform for me and well i tried it I tried TikTok and I posted the same videos that I posted on YouTube Shorts on TikTok and uh, saw if that would go anywhere. And honestly, I didn't get a lot of reactions. Uh, it did not do like crazy big like everyone assumed it would. Uh, Rip the Falcon is still very indie and. You know, I'm okay with that, but, you know, it's it's not, like, instant success. However, I posted one of the videos, and one of them has a montage of uh, the kills. And uh, I got banned from TikTok for being too gory. I'm like, huh, okay, that's kind of, you know, kind of lame. But, you know, I didn't want to do TikTok. I scrolled through it uh, just casually, just trying to find other animation, and there's a ton of animators, but again, what I was saying about last time I was talking about TikTok, the content is designed to be like fast food. It's just not even really uh, something memorable. You know, it might look really good, and that's it. And, um, you know, when I was making those those TikTok videos, uh, they were just kind of eye candy. Um, I made two original shorts, uh, that were just kind of like rip flying and looking cool. And, um, you know, I think that, you know, it's, it's not really my format and I was trying to chase a fad. I was trying to, you know, catch a trend because, you know, that's what people are grabbing onto right now is, is the short form videos and stuff. And, um, you know, I, I really feel like the, the video aspect ratio itself is distracting. Like it's designed to fit a phone. Instead of it being wide, it's, it's vertical, which makes it extremely limiting for you to actually uh, draw anything. There's no space. Uh, there's, there's hardly any actual room on the, on the, you know, template. So, you know, I, uh, I'm glad that, you know, I, I was too hardcore, I guess, for TikTok, that Rip the Falcon was too extreme. You know, it was, uh, it was, it, it, it will never not be toned down. It will, it will always, it will always be a rated R cartoon. Uh, I'm not selling Rip the Falcon. That's not a character I'm giving up. And, you know, I, I've i branded myself as someone who does adult animation, like Ralph Bakshi does. And that's what I want to talk about. So uh, this morning, I went on LinkedIn, and there was an Ask Me Anything, only it was called Ask Sean something. Uh, it was called Ass because uh, this guy named Sean Riley is the uh, creator and founder of Dude Wipes, which is like, you know, One Wipe Charlie's, but uh, uh, just, you know, their own thing. It's, it's basically like a, a fancy eco-friendly toilet paper thing. It's, it's, it's like their whole product is about the brand and how they market it. And, you know, uh, while I was on their uh, live stream, I asked him like how do you how do you find your niche? How do you find your your uh your identity? 
And, you know, he said, you know, you got to find your market and dominate it. And you got to find what's your voice and you have to just do you. And that's kind of what I had been doing before TikTok. And that's what I've been doing kind of the whole time with Tick Studios LLC. Uh, none of my videos are really chasing trends. Uh, I took down all the fan art stuff and you know pretty much everything except for the michael myers videos is 100 percent original and uh you know i i just kind of wanted to do like 90s animation and there's not a lot of people doing 90s animation there's not a lot of people doing that style or hand-drawn cartoons that aren't assisted with tweening um you know, Indie Animation Day was about nine days ago. And uh, I saw a lot of people's shows and pitches and stuff like that. And they all look really cool. But um, nobody is doing cartoons the way I'm doing them. And I'm not saying I'm better, but I'm saying I'm different. I'm saying that my cartoons are grungy and kind of, you know, old school. And I'm seeing a lot of the, you know, more modern kind of stuff. And, um, you know, I think that's where I'm going with this whole thing. It's like, you know, if I'm going to be anything, I'm going to be myself. You know what I mean? Um, I, I kind of knew that if I did a TikTok, it wouldn't succeed because it wouldn't be genuine. And, you know... I want to be authentic in everything I do. Uh, I never want to fake a video. I never want to just try it and and see what happens. You know, I, uh, I I like I like to put effort into my stuff. And you know, I wouldn't say that I was doing a half-assed job of trying to be a TikToker, but you know, I do think that I was. Um, trying to do something I'm not really good at, if that makes sense. So, you know, this was just kind of like something on the topic, uh, on, on, on the back of my mind, because, you know, you can get lost in trying to uh, keep up with the internet. The internet is like a million things in one minute, and it's never stopped. It never stops. It's always going. And, you know, like one year in internet time is like 10 years. It's, it's it's just too much information for you to keep up with trends. And maybe I'm old school. Maybe I'm outdated by doing everything the old school YouTube way. But um, that's what I know and that's what I'm good at. And, uh, you know, I think I am building an audience organically and, you know, I have really cool fans. So, you know, maybe I'm not like two, you know, 20,000 subscribers yet, but who knows? It could go somewhere and I'm really enjoying where it's going right now. So that's kind of where I wanted to leave off. I just thought it would be a quick podcast, quick story, something I thought was interesting and something I thought kind of reminded me a little reality check that you know I should be authentic I shouldn't try to I shouldn't try to chase trends so have a good one it is late and uh, it is summer crack open a beer uh, listen to some music and have a good one see ya